Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. Trying to make sense of this crazy Arizona market. Do me a favor, punch the subscribe button so that you can be up to date all year as we head in to the new year with this interest rate drop that we just saw. Now I know if you're out looking for a home, your email's exploding from realtors and lenders going, all right, here's what this means. Everybody's going to be looking in the house next year. Start get out there in January and get it before rates go down even further and before buyers come out in droves and drive the price back up once again. Now, the bond market reacted favorably to what the central bank said, but I want to emphasize that the central bank just said they might, possibly, maybe, perhaps, if the data indicates they should, lower rates may be up to three times next year. They didn't say when, they didn't say definitely, they cautioned and said, you know, there's still some numbers we see, we still have a ways to go, and the bond market, I hope, hasn't got ahead of their skis and drove rates down too far, too fast, uh, to where the feds have to come in and, and put the brakes on again. So right now they haven't done anything. Uh, but the bond market has reacted favorably, and by favorably, I mean, you know, if you're hoping rates come down, um, that's what the gift that they gave you this week. So we went like 7.1, 7.2 to 6, all the way down to 6.69 by Friday. Now, if you watched the live show that Pat and I did at 3 o'clock on Friday, Pat from Price Mortgage, we were kind of issuing not so much a caution, but saying, you know, don't you got time. You don't need to rush out there. It's not the bars, the doors aren't going to open. Buyers are not going to rush out at 6.6%. So you got time. So what you need to do now is watch the trends and see where it's going. Now, there's a lot of headwinds out there. There's a lot of things when it comes to inflation that may surprise us. Inflation, you know, coming down, coming down, it's 3.1. You know, there may be a month in here between now and spring where, or even late spring, where we get a surprise and CPI goes up a hair. We just don't know. They don't know either, and that's what the Fed chairman has been telling everybody that they're going to watch they're walking watching unemployment and they're watching the um, cpi so among other indicators so a lot to watch lots to see let's join the watch party ourselves and right here and we look at months of supply you know we need to see where this is headed now december just doesn't count um, you know, it, it's Christmas time. It's, you can never glean any trending data out of December. It all starts to fall off the map in November. And then we crawl our way out by the second week of January here in Arizona. And January usually picks up pretty good. We also have the most listings that show up in January. Now, if the listings show up and they show up by a large number and they're not going under contract very fast, this number of 3.3 months will climb if it gets up to here um, that's pretty good for buyers okay so you're going to have more inventory but you're not going to have pricing pressure because if the month supply grow there's no bidding wars you don't need to worry about it you'll have an easy go of it sellers will probably lag behind a little bit until they hear what their neighbor got then they list listings canceled per week this is one, a number to watch in February. As I said, we get more listings in January than we do most any time of year. Then we have the largest number of price reductions in February. Seasonally, doesn't matter whether the market's going up or down, but seasonally, I'm going to list my price for this. It's first of the year. This is what I think what I can get. Oops, that didn't work. <coughs> I'm going to lower the price in February, and they do. Excuse me while I get a drink of water here. And so, along with canceled, those are people that just say, well, I thought I could get that price, didn't work, uh, or my plans changed, I'm going to cancel it. That's not an alarming number. Number of price changes per week. Now, this is current data, where some of the data is lagging. Anything that has to do with a price or a closing. These are number of price changes every week. These are price cuts. And right now, we have 1,479. You can see that when rates went from 3 to 7 right here last year, price cuts started showing up because, guess what, they weren't getting their price. And so they started lowering their price to try and see if they could sell it. And when right about here, they said, well, 
I lowered the price. I still didn't get it. I let the listing expired or I canceled it. So this is a number that we can watch because it's probably the most current one here that we can look at. And I'll share this with you uh, often. This one is still kind of puzzling, isn't it? This is the average list price per square foot. Look how it hasn't budged all this time. Neither up nor down. The listings are coming on. I'm like, okay, here it is. Now, it's buyers that influence the list, the, the closed price, not the list price. So sellers in droves can ask way too much for their home, but you're going to see it shake out in listings under contract weekly. Let me erase those red lines I had previously. So look, if there's a whole bunch of sellers that put their houses on there and they're asking too much money, they're not going to go under contract. This number will not go up. It'll go sideways or down. Now this is seasonal stuff here. So I expect next few weeks to go down. But that number could change. Now, the other thing is, is the listing success rate. Again, I'll erase these numbers. If a lot of sellers are asking too much for their homes and buyers are not going to give them a contract, this number will go down. The listing success rate will go down. Right now, it's at 72.3. Last At the beginning of the year in January, it got down to 61.4. And you can see it right the year before in 2022, 63.2. This dropped like a rock. So if there's too many listings showing up, not enough contracts being written, this could drop like a rock. Or it could flatten out or increase. But this doesn't mean that you're going to have a bidding war. This just means it's trending that way. And this is current data that you can look at. And I can look at this and I can look at the Cromford Market Index and say, okay, indicators are... February and March are going to be a little more bricks than uh, we have been in the past. Pay attention, and then maybe that's when you might want to consider going out and uh, looking for homes. But you don't need to put gas in the car today because here is the closings over list price is only 14%. It's not a big number, and the average over list is only $5,000. So the closing over list price I don't see that exploding like we saw in 2021. I'm going to say don't believe the hype that rates are going down and this is going to mean that prices are going up. It's going to happen. If that happens, it's going to happen slow enough for you to see ahead of time. Even then, I don't think I'd panic. I think you're going to see, I think in January and February, from the way things are lining up right now, inventory has not exploded. List prices have not increased. Sales have not increased. If sales start to increase because of the new interest rates, the lower one, and if rates are still down by the second week of January, you will see that number come up. And it won't be enough to eat up the current inventory we have. We're at over three months. So it's not going to be a dogfight out there. You're going to have time to look at a home, imagine that, and write an offer, talk to your agent. Well, I'm going to go home tonight and think about it. Remember when that used to be a normal thing? So I think that's what we're going to look at. Um, I'm I'm uh, kind of on the fence about my thoughts about the rates coming down. Um, I, I like to see rates come down, um, you know, just because of the interest on the debt. Now, I know the central bank isn't concentrating on that. They are looking at it and saying, and telling Congress, hey, you might want to do something about that, but they can't pull any triggers to change that. Uh, they, they can only look, they're looking at unemployment and value of the dollar. So that's their task and inflation. So um, January, February, don't worry about it. You don't need to run out there and hurry. But if you are looking for a home, you can take your time. Sellers, um, don't get too greedy. I don't think there's going to be bidding wars out there again. And uh, you can, if you price it right, it's selling 73% success rate. So January, February, March could be just a big dose of normal. I'm not stepping out on a ledge. I'm seeing some numbers that tell me that. And we will watch them here on a weekly basis. Do me a favor and subscribe so that you can stay up to date with me. Thanks. Take care.